I'm Bambi Francisco, and I'm continuing my discussion with Mark Mahaney. He's an analyst, internet analyst at City Investment Research. Mark is also an II internet analyst, been rated II for the past two years, and we're going to talk about consolidation in the industry, specifically whether or which of the big internet companies will go on an acquisition spree this year. That's what many of the, uh, the smaller private companies watching this video, that's what they want to hear. So which Google attempted or reportedly attempted to buy Yelp, so there's interest there. Um, and who else is going to be making acquisitions? So just as a, as a backstop, uh, there's a lot of cash in the Internet sector. Google has 14, 15 billion in cash. eBay has about 5 billion in cash post the Skype deal. Uh, Amazon's probably doing 2 to 3 billion. Yahoo has about 3 to 4 billion. So you add all that up. I know I'm going to make a math error here, but it's about 30 billion in cash across the sector. And AOL, does AOL have cash too? Yeah, uh, yes, but they've got some real restrictions on how they can spend that cash. So they're probably not an acquirer, not a material acquirer. But you've got four large companies. Uh, no debt, plenty of cash, and a year ago they stopped all acquisitions as you know they wanted to be very careful going into the recession. Now that we're out of the recession, now that they can be a little bit more confident about uh, their uh, their fundamentals going forwards, and now that they're looking for new growth opportunities, yeah, you bet that there's going to be a pickup in M&A activity, and those four are the obvious acquirers. Who would be interested in Yelp if Google clearly that that deal's not going through? Well, there's one company I didn't mention, and it's that uh, software company up in uh, Redmond, which also has a substantial amount of cash off the top of my head, 20 billion. Oh, oh, and there's also that hardware company down in Cupertino, which now also has about 14, 15 billion in cash. So step back, you add all that up, you're dealing well north of 50 billion in cash that is looking for secular growth stories. And they think they have to be considering the internet. And look at some of the major deals that each of those uh, big cash hoard companies have done. They're focused on uh, smartphone um, revenue streams, uh, e-commerce, uh, online advertising, particularly mobile a advertising. And then there's a, been a big push recently towards finding local plays. That's where Yelp fit right in. Yelp was about reported 500 million. They had reported also 30 estimated 30 million. That's like 15 times or so sales. Is that the type of are those the type of valuations you'd be looking for an acquisition? I mean, I know it's a case by case basis. Uh, you know, those it, it's uh, it's within the realm of the possible of the you know like if you for a very fast growing uh, company that has got to show some uh, for uh, for a, for an M and A takeout maybe they don't need to show the kind of profitability path public markets would need that but for an M and A takeout they may they would uh, they don't necessarily need to have as much emphasis on profitability but reasonable top line numbers with substantial growth those kind of numbers multiples on sales uh, aren't out of the ballpark. Will there be a bigger acquisition than, say, uh, the Google's acquisition of AdMob for $750 million? Do you predict that there could be a bigger one this year? One problem would be, for some of these companies, could be regulatory concerns. And I think Google's probably at the top of that you know, DOJ watch list in terms of what they would buy and a lot of things that they would maybe be interested in buying may be stopped by regulatory authorities. I don't know whether other companies would have as much of a pushback there. But, you know, now that you've got four, four five, six relatively large entrenched Internet-oriented companies in some way or another, there's going to be regulatory issues. But there are a couple of assets out there. People have talked about Twitter. Uh, there's a, there is a public private slash private market capitalization for that of a billion dollars in terms of the latest investment around. So yeah, if somebody wanted to buy Twitter, it's clear that you need to spend at least that in order to buy the asset. Who do you think is going to be the most acquisitive out of all the companies that you mentioned? Or who do you think needs Just to amongst the internet yeah. companies, Google has consistently been the, most, the, the, been the biggest serial acquirer. Of those four, the least acquisitive has been Amazon, although now we're starting to see that change. They bought uh, Zappos. They were looking at a uh, social flash sale company opportunity in France. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's reasonable to guess it's going to be Google. They have the biggest uh, checkbook. They've done the most acquisitions, but generally most of those acquisitions have been pretty small. AdMob kind of skewed way out of the norm for the normal acquisition they do. Okay, but still an inquisitive year this year, so good year for exits. This and, uh, yeah, the next two years, you'd have to, as these, especially as growth in their core businesses slows down. Right. They need to. You're looking for, investors de are demanding that they, they find growth, right? Yeah. Well, that's good news for all the private companies out there. You would think. Okay, Mark, the next one, we're going to talk about growth areas across the Internet in our next interview. Okay. I've been speaking with Mark Mahaney. He's an Internet analyst at City Investment Research. I'm Bambi Francisco.